What's up guys, Papa Stanimus here. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up subscriber call signs. Very easy to do. What these do is activate a sound effect when your subscribers type a command in the chat. All right, so to get started, what I need you to do is click the link down below in the description. It's gonna take you to an article I wrote and it has all the step-by-step -step instructions and all the download links. It's everything all in one place. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so click the link down below. You will be brought to my webpage right here. Look at that, good job. You made it, all right? Now, step one, you need to create a Twitch bot account. That means you need to make a new Twitch account for your bot. You're gonna have a special one just for your bot. This is necessary for Streamlabs chatbot to work correctly, okay? Now, once you've created your new Twitch bot, okay? Uh, my name is Papa Stanimus. I would create Papa Bot. Okay, you can create whatever bot you want, but you need a special Twitch account for that. Once that's done, you need to download and install Streamlabs Chatbot. I've put a link here for you. You can just open this up in a new tab and bam, you can download Streamlabs Chatbot right here. Okay, get that downloaded, get that installed. And uh, once you have that done, you should see something like this. All right, so here is Streamlabs Chatbot. And once this is installed, what you need to do is connect your Twitch accounts to it, okay? So at the bottom left, there's a little person icon. You wanna click that, okay? And it's gonna open up this little connections box here. You wanna type in for the Twitch bot section, we're only gonna worry about Twitch bot and Twitch streamer, okay? Uh, Twitch bot, you're gonna add your bot name and your streamer channel, and you need to create an OAuth token. To do that, you just click generate token and log in, do your two-step verification or whatever, and get your auth token okay same thing for twitch streamer just put in the username uh and then hit generate auth token to generate a token i'm not going to do this because i've already done it but it's pretty straightforward i think you guys can figure it out if you got this far okay so now that that is done your twitch your streamlabs chatbot should be connected you'll see at the very top of streamlabs chatbot well it won't show for me but at the very top it'll say connected and then you'll be able to switch between your bot so i could switch the bot and I can say test and there's my bot game rebel network is my bot streamer test there it is there's me as my streamer so it connects me as the both accounts and this this program needs access to both for all this stuff okay so once you've done that the next thing that we need to do is focus on setting up our sound files so uh let's go away from streamlabs chatbot for a moment let's get away from this page and let's go back to our instructions in the instructions, it says we need to worry about creating MP3 sound effects. Now, I have a website that I like to use. However, I use Adblock like a mofo on this site because it is trying to download some crazy stuff in my computer. All right, but I use this website. I put a YouTube URL in here and then I hit convert and then I hit download. And then if a pop-up comes up, I close it as quickly as freaking possible because it might do something nuts on your computer. So this one's kind of risky, but it's the one I use because it's just easy. It just works uh, minus the crazy ads that try to destroy and melt your computer. So be very be very careful. Make sure you have all the ad blocks on if they're not working. Be fast on the draw and close those pop-ups. All right, so all you do is slap uh, a YouTube link in here, hit convert, hit download, you have your file, okay? Once you've downloaded your file, you have that kind of uh, situated. The next thing you need to do is download Audacity, okay? So I actually did not add an Audacity link into this, so we're just gonna go to Audacity, all right? Uh, here we go. So there's going to be a link by the time you guys uh, watch this, we'll fix it. But you go to this page right here and then you download Audacity. This is a free audio editing software. It's super easy to use and uh, it's what you want to use, okay? So once you have Audacity downloaded, all you got to do is have Audacity open. You open it up. Here we go. I got one open. And uh, let's say you want to uh, edit something, all right? Let's say you want to cut it. So like we want only like this section right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this part and we're going to cut out this part and uh, get rid of all that and there we go now we have our section that we want okay and you highlight it hit file hit export export as mp3 select where you want your files to export i have mine in just audacity export you name your file hit save and you're done okay you've made your mp3 there's your very quick audacity tutorial it's not very complicated okay just make your little whatever you want 
All right, uh, so let's get rid of that. We're done with audacity. We've done that part, okay? Um, now, now that you've uh, learned how to download your MP3s and crop them the way you want, save them as an MP3, the next thing we need to do is add our audio to Streamlabs Chatbot, okay? So now we're gonna go back to Streamlabs Chatbot and we are going to go to the left and we're gonna hit sound files, okay? Now once we're in here on the top right, you're gonna click the plus button and now we're gonna fill out this information. One thing that we need to do is create a name for the sound file so you can know what it is, okay? I'm just gonna name this one new sound file, okay? Uh, usually I leave the volume at 100 and then adjust it after testing it once it's done. Uh, I add all my call signs to a group that I've created called call signs and then you need to locate your sound file. So I have my stuff in Audacity, remember? So I'm just gonna use this sound file uh, as an example, gain hopping. All right, there we go. So there's that one. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit submit. Actually, you know what? I don't wanna use that sound file because it's too long. Um, we are gonna use a shorter one. We're just gonna do uh, Mind Chillers call sign. That's one of the latest ones I did. There we go. All right, so um, uh, let me add delete me on this because uh, I might want to do that. Delete me. All right, there we go. Submitted, bam. Now we saved that sound file. And here, very simple. That's all there is to it. Okay, back to the article. The next step is adding a command. This is the final step. We're almost done. All you have to do in Streamlabs chatbot is now go up to the commands section. Okay, and uh, we are going to create a new command. So this is where you'll be. All right, you hit new command. All right, and now we're going to create a new command. I'm going to do exclamation point call sign example. That's my name of it, okay? I'm gonna give it a uh, cost of 250, leave the stream, or the usage at stream chat, enable, or we're gonna leave this on true. I'm gonna create a group called call signs. We want to put this in call signs just so we know where it's at, it's easy to organize it. You wanna make sure the permission level is set to subscriber, okay? Cause this is for subscribers only. We want only subscribers and above to be able to do this. The next thing we wanna do is add a response. There's a lot of crazy things that we can do. I'm just gonna give you a quick, easy one that I like to do. So you can do something like uh, money sign user to pull the user ID of the person typing the command, um, summoned, and then we're gonna use the name of the call sign. We're just gonna say call sign example. Call sign example has been summoned and then money symbol count times this will keep a count all right so it'll use the username and then it'll create a little count it just adds a little bit of a dynamic to your action okay it's kind of cool so it keeps counting how many times it's been used we are now going to look for the mind chiller call sign all right now all new call signs that you add when they're fresh they'll be way at the bottom uh, once you've reloaded Streamlabs, they'll organize themselves alphabetically. So uh, we're gonna go with, uh, oh wait, that we wanted Mind Chiller, right? Mind Chiller call sign, here we go. So uh, the command is exclamation point call sign example. I've set a cost of 250. I want them to have some currency to be able to use these, all right? Um, and I also have uh, a cool action in here and we have the sound, okay? So I'm gonna hit submit. Now, something cool should happen here. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is hit exclamation point call sign example and bam there is our call sign that concludes today's tutorial thank you guys very much for tuning in today if you guys would like to know more stuff make sure you like subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified when I release new streaming Thank you very much. Catch you on the next one.